Amanda, I think you're muted. All right, can you hear me now? Awesome. Okay, we're just waiting on a couple of more people to join. So we're going to give them just one more minute to get going. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if a few more people join, it's not a problem. They'll just jump in. So I'm Amanda Garcia. I am the director of the program. I'm actually out of the office today, so I'm doing this remotely. Um, so I just wanted to uh, make sure that I was here to say hello and welcome. Um, also on the call is Brittany Yandel. She is our senior academic advisor for digital design. So if you're in this program, she will be the one that you're working with who will help advise you on all your um, core classes, your major classes, and kind of help follow you through the entire program. Hi guys, I'm Brittany. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> So just a little bit about SOPA. Um, so you may know some of this, but overall SOPA was um, founded as one of uh, the very first schools within Tulane University. Um, and it, back in 1834 is when Tulane was founded. And then in 1886, um, we began our first continuing education classes. So even though we're no longer the School of Continuing Studies or now the School of Professional Advancement, we still have a commitment to adult learners as well as traditional students. Um, we offer full or um, part-time uh, courses of study. So if you are a working professional, um, we have classes that cater to you where you can take classes online. Um, you can also take classes during day, night, or weekend. Um, we have classes on our main campus as well as our new cell classroom, which is really exciting, which is where it's kind of what we're calling a, like a compound classroom where we have some students in person and some students online at the same time. So just kind of depending on your work life balance and what you have uh, in terms of other commitments, we try to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to access your education with us. So in terms of online learning at SOPA, um, we make sure that you have access, if you decide to take online classes, uh, access to learning materials, lecture notes, and assignments at any time within our Canvas. We use Canvas um, as our environment. Um, we do have engaging and informative videos and interactive simulations. Um, we have online discussion boards that allow you to collaborate. We also allow you to connect with a diverse group of students to improve those online communication and technical skills. And we also have like monthly meetups, etc. And we also have guest speakers. So so, you know, if you decide to take classes with us online, we try to make it as robust and as much like an in-person experience as possible. Um, just so that, you know, you're comfortable with our online scenario, unlike other schools, we really are experts in this area. We have over 1,300 students who've completed almost 11,000 hours of online coursework. We have various types of degrees online. Um, if you decide to go that route, which we have eight master's degrees, 11 graduate certificates, four post-bac certificates, and overall 320 courses. So among that, we have over 190 faculty that are trained in online instruction and we've won multiple awards in this area. So I know we get a lot of questions about, you know, tell us why your online program is different than others. So this is just a few slides about our online specific programs. So in terms of digital design, um, really our goal for the program is what we like to say is kind of to bridge the gap between art and technology. Um, we make sure that our program is 100% aligned with workforce needs and workforce readiness. Um, every course that you take throughout the program as you matriculate is really building that portfolio, making sure that you have those projects within your portfolio that the workforce and your potential employers are going to be looking for after graduation. Um, we 
prepare you really to enter these fields by not only preparing that portfolio, but also bringing in guest lecturers, uh, guest jurors for projects. We, um, we partner with uh, local nonprofits and other groups in need and we create projects for them in the classroom under a service learning header. So it's really important to us that you are fully prepared to enter the field and have the portfolio and the works to support that. So we have two different types of degrees. We have our bachelor's as well as our post-bac certificate. So if you already have a bachelor's degree, you can then go into our post-bac certificate program, which is 10 courses, and that can be within our design, our interactive, or our game art track, 10 courses within that track. Um, but if you don't have a bachelor's and that's something you're interested in exploring, it's 120 credits total, and 42 of those credits are within the major area of study. And within that bachelor of digital design, you can declare the track, whether it's graphic design, interactive design, or game art and animation. We also have students, and Brittany can kind of attest to this, that already have a bachelor's degree, uh, but really want more than 10 courses in the post-bac certificate. They may be changing careers, and they just want more than those 10 courses, and so they get a second bachelor's degree. Um, for a lot of students to do that. They may start out on the certificate track and then realize, man, I really want to take more classes. And so they dig into a second bachelor. So we can look at, if that's something you're interested in, we can look at your transcripts to see how many credits we can take from your previous institution. Um, we can take up to 60, depending on if they transfer and, you know, coordinate all of those things. So that way you can get more coursework, those, you know, 42 credits rather um, than the 10 courses. So just something to think about. So what is a post-bac certificate? So post-bac certificates are really, like I said, available to those students with bachelor's degrees already. Um, it's about 30 credit hours, so it's 10 courses. I have a lot of students that ask, you know, I'm interested in design, but I'm also interested in web and interactive. We can kind of customize those certificates for you. So if you want to primarily do graphic design, but take a class or two in interactive design and see how you like it, you're more than welcome to do that. We can customize that, but it's about 10 courses no matter how you slice it. We also have some students that want to take more than 10 classes. They wanna take 12 or 13 courses. That's completely fine. You can take more than 10, but it's a, you know, a minimum of 10 to complete the certificate itself. Um, and then within our overall graphic design track, you're going to be looking at courses um, such as Digital Design Foundation. So we have some students that come to us with no design background at all. And if that's you, we have a foundations class to help you kind of get up to speed. If you do have experience, um, so let's say for the post back, for example, um, we can skip that course and jump ahead. We'll just have to look at your portfolio and talk to you about that. Um, we also have software specific courses. That way you get a lot of in-depth knowledge in like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Lightroom. We also in, in design especially. We also have um, typography, history of graphic design. You're also going to be doing courses in layout, 3D, etc. We also have letterpress. I mean there's just so many fun things, packaging, uh, all within the graphic design track. On the interactive design track, you're going to be looking at things like UX, user experience, and UI, user interface design. You'll be completing some of the similar courses like typography. Um, you'll also be doing the illustration and imaging courses, but you'll also be getting experience in motion design, working at After Effects and Premiere, as well as um, prototyping software such as Sketch, Adobe XD, etc. So it's a really, really fun track, and it's kind of like the future of where the fields are going in the interactive to space and so we make sure that you're prepared for that. And then within the game art and animation track, you know, the field of gaming is so large, we really honed in on art and animation is what our focus is for our track here at Tulane. Um, so you're going to be looking at like digital anatomy, um, there are drawing courses, fine art, you know, drawing courses, etc. You're also going to be moving into like Photoshop, concept art, um, working in 3D spaces for modeling and animation. You'll be using software such as Maya, ZBrush, um, Blender, etc. Uh, and then taking that into the game engines, we're using Unreal um, mostly. And so uh, it's a really great track if you're interested in going into the art or animation side of making games. 
And then in terms of our faculty, you know, all of our faculty are practitioners, including myself, you know, I still do design work. Um, Josh Dirtberg is one of our leads in the uh, game art and animation tracks. He's the lead animator at In Exile, which is a Microsoft company, and they have a big studio here in New Orleans. And so he's doing animation, leading this firm during the day, and then at night or online, he's teaching animation classes. Same thing with Peter and Samantha. So you're getting real world experience from our faculty who are doing this day in and day out to make sure that everything you need and everything you're learning is aligned with what the workforce is expecting. Also, John Carr, we have a big copywriting focus um, that, it, within our programs as well. Um, Jessica Peterson, she owns a Southern Letterpress here in town, and so she teaches our Letterpress Studios uh, classes at her studio. It's pretty impressive. Um, Rebecca Carr is one of our full-time professors of practice, and she's also an award-winning graphic designer. And Aisha Champagne, who also does publication and editorial design, and she teaches those types of classes for us. So once again, really aligning with like the expertise of these faculty, specifically in our program to teach you what you need to do to be successful in careers like theirs. So beyond the classroom, we make it a very holistic experience for our students. Um, we have a student chapter of the American Institute of Graphic Artists. We also have a gaming um, chapter as well. Um, it's a game club where different students within like computer science as well as our program get together. Um, we are starting a chapter of the American Advertising Federation this year called Add2 and they're the ones that host the Addy Awards and so um, we've won national Addy Awards. Um, we've won district and regional awards every single year. Uh, in the Addies it's pretty phenomenal. Our students do amazing work. Um, we also bring in designers every semester. Uh, we try to like rotate the different tracks. So if one semester we bring in somebody in gaming, the next semester we'll bring somebody in graphs and design or lettering, etc. Um, we've brought in James Victory, Tyler Barnes, uh, Kay Vassy most recently from Epic Games came and spoke. So it's a really, really fun uh, way to get a little bit of insight into the industry and also get to hear kind of behind the curtain, like what goes on at these big companies. Brittany, do you want to talk about the student support and success? Sure. So as a SOPA student, as, as a Tulane student in general, you will have a lot of built-in support. Um, I'll be your academic advisor, so basically what that means is I'll make sure you're taking enough credits, make sure you're in touch with the correct people, um, help with registration, kind of anything on the academic front. Um, beyond that, like Dr. Garcia was uh, speaking about just a few minutes ago, we've got expert faculty um, with a lot of industry experience. You know, there's a lot of opportunities to build really important networking and connections uh, while you're in the program. Uh, beyond that, Tulane has a very extensive alumni network that you will automatically be connected to as a Tulane student. Um, so if you're looking for a job across the country or even out of the country, we have a lot of connections through this Tulane alumni network um, and you will be connected to that as a student. Uh, we have a career counselor at SOFA. Her name is Ms. Cynthia Washington and she can work with you on building your resume, editing a resume, mock interviews, really anything career related that you can't um, get from your faculty or from doc Dr. Garcia, we do have a, a career advisor as well. So a lot of built-in supports, we all work together to make sure that you're getting everything that you need while you're here. Applying is really, really easy. Um, if you haven't completed your application yet, there is definitely still time for fall. Um, we'll talk about the deadlines in just a minute. Um, the application fee for undergraduate is 40. However, it is waived for attending this webinar today. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to any of us and we will make sure that that is waived for you. Um, you will need to upload a clear photo government issued ID. Um, so make sure that you have that and then your transcripts, you can have those sent digitally. Most places you can order them online pretty quickly from your previous institutions and you can get those sent to us and I will put the email address in the chat for you where you can send those transcripts. Awesome. Thank you. And so deadlines, like Brittany just mentioned, are coming up. So August 1st is the application deadline. So you just need to make sure that your full application is in the system by August 1st in order for us to be able to like route it, review it, and get you accepted by the time classes start in August 19th. I've been telling students try to work ahead of that because, you know, classes are filling up right now. So we want to make sure you actually get in the classes you want if you're looking at fall. 
if you're looking at spring, you have more time. You have until January 1st. And then of course, summer is May 15th. In the meantime, if you're ordering your transcripts from your universities that you've attended or your high school that you've attended, if you're coming right out of high school, we need your high school transcripts. If you're coming from another university, we just need your university transcripts. We don't need your high school um, in addition to that. So you can get us unofficial versions, things you can download online. You can submit those ahead of time while you're waiting on the official ones to get to us so we can review them and get you admitted. Um, you just can't actually register for classes until we get the official transcript. So if you're kind of worried on like the amount of time that's going to take and we're like approaching August 1st, believe it or not, um, in a couple of weeks. So if you want to expedite that, you can always give us unofficial while we're waiting on the official. And then we get a ton of questions about tuition and financial aid, obviously, right? It's a concern for all of us. Um, so our courses are three credits each. Um, each credit is $524. So you can kind of do the math. It comes out to like $1,600 basically per class. Um, there is financial aid. So if you're interested in taking out loans, I mean, I know when I was in school, I took out loans all the way up through my PhD program. Um, that's how I got through school. So if you're interested in doing grants and loans and that kind of thing, we can help connect you to the financial aid office. Just let us know. Um, we do have federal grants, federal loans. We also give a 20% discount if you're um, active duty military, veterans, teachers, or first responders. So keep that in mind as well. Let us know if you're one of those. And we also have credits for prior learning. So if you're looking at going into the bachelor's program, this is not true for the post bac but if you're going into the bachelor's and let's say you've been working like in the marketing field for the last 10 years or five years and you use one of the pieces of software every single day and you're like, I don't need to take this class because I already know it, but I need credit for it to move forward in my degree. Then um, there's something where we can earn up to 24 credits, which is eight classes, which is kind of crazy. Uh, awesome um, for credits for prior learning or prior experience. So if that's something you're interested in, let us know and we'll kind of help you navigate that process. Um, and you have to like submit a portfolio. There's a couple of things you have to do. So we'll help you navigate that process, but just know that that is available. Also, a couple things that I didn't add here I wanted to mention, um, we are launching our laptop program. We're going to add a slide about this, but um, we've procured um, through our Tech Connect um, a new MacBook Pro laptop for all of our students. And basically what you're able to do is um, apply for a one-time financial aid computer fee, and it's like an extra $2,500 you get for financial aid. Um, that you can put toward a computer. Um, so Adobe's free for all of our students, but we can't like, you know, we're not going to put that in your tuition to get a computer. But if you're interested in it, you could actually get this one time financial aid bump. Um, and we order the laptop for you. So that way you don't have to like wait till your financial aid comes in. We order the laptop for you. You let us know that you applied for that financial aid bump. And then when it comes in, we give you the laptop and you pay for it through your financial aid. So it's just to kind of help you guys have the technology you need like early on. That way it kind of helps move you forward in the program more quickly. Um, so that's something new that we're really excited about that we just launched and we already have like a dozen students who are taking advantage of that. So I don't know, Greg and Ashley, like if you guys have machines or what you plan on doing, but just know that that's available, you know, if it's something you're interested in. Yeah. So I'd love to open it up for you guys. I'd like to know like what tracks y'all are interested in and when you're thinking about maybe starting. Good to unmute yourself there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently trying to get in. I would go to SOPA first and then of course transfer into Tulane from there. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go the marketing route. And okay. I did, so that's what I'm kind of going for. Awesome. Okay, cool. So are you interested in like the digital marketing aspect? Yeah. I'm, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, so we have a whole program through our public relations and digital media marketing through SOPA that you can take some design classes if you want, but you can also get an entire degree in digital media marketing and public relations. So that might be a good place for you to start, Greg, and then you could transfer over into the business school, I'm assuming, that has like the full marketing program. Yeah, that could be really great. And we can connect you. Um, if you just shoot me an email, it's just Amanda Garcia at Tulane. I'll connect you with Dan Ray, who is our advisor for that. Um, and we can kind of work with you to make sure that, you know, you're comfortable with the program and what you should be taking and that kind of thing. But yeah, um, that's my email address. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Ashley, what about you? Um, okay, so I actually started my graphic design degree at Loyola. Like I have over 90 credits, but I took nice. off. So I'm 
trying to finish my bachelor's and oh, okay. so I also for Loyola for their transcripts they can only mail them so is there a, what's a specific office I should send yeah. my transcripts to Brittany do you want to you have that? Uh, yeah, Ashley, I will send you the address to your email. Um, what is your email? <laughs> um, I, can I type it here? That's yeah, you can type it in the chat. I'll send you the physical email. We do have people going over at least once a week, but honestly, it's more than that to pick up the mail. Um, so we'll still be able to get that. So I'll send you yeah. the address. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And then, you know, if you can download like an unofficial one from Loyola's website, can you do that? Do you have access um, to that? Yeah, I think maybe like students, more recent students could, but um, mm, okay. But I think like for, because my system is like an older system, because I was like, mm -hmm. I was I left there in 2016. So okay. I think I can only email them, or mail That's okay. Them. Yeah. yeah, that's Actually, okay. I also attended Loyola and I can attest to their transcript system not, not being oh, able to navigate. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I no. totally understand. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, well. <laughs> You know, what you could do, Ashley, is you could email me and just be, just because I would like, are you wanting to start in the fall? Um, yes, possibly. Okay. okay, so why don't you shoot me an email and tell me kind of like what you've already taken with them and okay. let's see kind of where you are. Because, okay. you know, obviously we don't want you retaking anything. Um, and then we can see like where you should pick up for fall kind of thing. Yeah. So that okay. way, at least we can start looking at classes now. And that way okay. when we get the transcript, it's like you already know what you're going to take and we don't have to start from there. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to delay it. Okay. So just shoot me an email and let me know. Just say, you know, you can even go to their website if you want and pull, like, these are the you know. numbers, of course. Yeah, because I have, yeah. I actually have a, some transcripts already with me at my, like, house. Cool. I could also, like, take a photo of that and send it to you or just, like, yeah, I mean, just, like, just to see. Right. Okay. Yeah, just to kind of see where you're at. Um, you know, like, have you had typography? Did you already take, which design yeah. studios have you already taken? Like those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I took a lot of like the first level things like typography one and two and um, cool. web design. Awesome. So and we took like a motion one and two. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. So then you'd probably be jumping into like the mid to high level studio classes and electives and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we don't want you to have to retake anything. So yeah, give me what you can and we can start that conversation. And uh -huh. then when we get the official transcripts, then we'll, you know, put it in the system officially, but then at least we can have a conversation on like where you're ready to go once we get all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank well, it's good to meet you, Greg. Good to meet you, Ashley. And um, just stay in touch if you need anything. Just email me, email Brittany, you know, and um, we'll make sure that you're in the right program, Greg, and we get you all like settled so that way you can um, transfer into the business school, you know, seamlessly and all that good stuff. Mm, awesome. Yeah, of course. It was good to meet you guys. Sorry I'm in the car. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one of those days. But um, we'll be in touch soon. Okay, sounds Great. good. Thanks. Thank so okay, bye. <laughs>